Hey, hey, what's up guys? So today is quite a sad video as today we'll be talking about the demise, not the demise lah. Basically, we're going to say bye to The farewell. <laughs> so welcome to my channel guys. I'm here with the OG Jared Lee. OG. Very nice. Old guy. <laughs> we're here with his 981 Boxster, Boxster S ah. Boxster S. S. Boxster S. Wanna be GTS. And he's going to sell it. Ooh. I don't want to sell it. <laughs> I also don't want him to sell. <laughs> so basically in 2019, my backside got itchy a bit before MCO. Lenny, mm -hmm. who is my primary schoolmate, start to talk about cars. Then I meet more midlife crisis uncles <laughs> like myself. <laughs> so they start talking about cars. Then I'm like, I was never like a car guy, right? I'm like, yeah, it looks nice. Mm -mm -mm. I appreciate design more than anything else. And mm -hmm. when people talk cars, I just like zone out. Mm -mm. Looking back at things, I mean, when I really start looking into cars and I wanted to buy my first sports car, so I was looking for a sports car that I could daily. Mm -hmm. So after much research, like all of us, uh, I think we practically watch all yeah. the videos on YouTube <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and suddenly I know a bit more about cars. I wouldn't say I really know about cars. Okay. Uh, cool. yeah. Nice sound. I narrowed down and I landed on a Cayman actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I landed on a Cayman. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who had a 987 Cayman. Okay, yes. And I have a friend who has a 981 Cayman. Okay. Uh, no, okay. 91 Boxster. Okay. Right? Oh. So, Thank you very much, <laughs> friends who let me actually just drive their baby. Okay. And I find that I couldn't live with the 987. Transitioning from a comfort vehicle like a 3 Series okay. to a 987, mm -hmm. you feel it, like really okay. feel it. Okay, but yeah. maybe now, mm -hmm. I see 987 like, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, during that time, I was like, yeah, I, I feel like the night one okay. felt more right, more modern, a okay. bit more like I could live with it. Even even then, I felt like it was kind of different. The whole experience of driving a sports car is different. Okay. It's kind of like stiff and you feel the road a bit mm. and the sound and everything, right? Yeah, so I actually got my loan approved for a Cayman mm -hmm. in 2019. Mm -hmm. At the end of 2019, and as I was about to process everything, the pandemic hit. Okay. Yeah, and I'm like, let's not be stupid lah. Practical. But, <laughs> oh, if no. I did get it then, right, I would have made so much money. Because uh, I think I got a really good deal. I got a Cayman for 180k. Okay. 91. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, yeah. it's the price of 97. But I got poisoned by your fiancé. What's up? You're about to <laughs> test drive Lennox. Miata, it's been a while since I drove manual, so if I crash it, sorry ah. Yeah. No bro, you need to drive the uh, drop the toe man. Do I sound like him? No. <laughs> yes, no, you need a comfortable. Come out, come and try my MX-5. Try it. I'm like, like that right? I'm like, oh. Yeah. No, oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Did you genuinely enjoy the experience? Yeah, yeah, I actually enjoyed thoroughly the experience. <laughs> Even though you're like cramped inside. Okay, kind of like, yeah, it was fun. He's like, don't change gear, don't change gear. Yeah. Then change now. <laughs> and then got sound. I'm like, wow, got sound, I got pops. For me personally, a sports car must have sound. Nah. Given the sound factor and the drop top factor and mm. what. So yeah, this is how I ended up with. So after getting to know you a bit more, mm. I realized you're a very huge Japanese fan like everything about japan you love japan you love the history you love the mm. art mm. so why the porsche yeah, yeah. right i yeah. ask myself sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking why am i not driving a japanese car when i like everything japanese but honestly right i don't know i think i really got poisoned by the the brand i became like okay. a fanboy mm. a porsche and the more i drove it it just stuck to me. Okay. MX-5, I would have considered if it was like slightly bigger. Mm. This was still like top one. Uh. Okay. Mm. But I was a bit scared also uh, because Porsche as a brand is quite intimidating. Okay. In in a sense of uh, maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Understand. Typical lah. Uh. Yes, yes. When you buy your first Beamer, Mercedes, Continental yes. car. Yeah. And especially, Porsche feels like yeah. there, wow. right? Yes. And then like, am I 
making the wrong move Understand. financially speaking mm-hmm. but having this car for i think a year plus now i think yeah everyone should get a Porsche <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the practicality wise, mm, right? Mm, mm. You said you've daily did. So mm. how has your experience been dailying a two seater plus a Porsche? Honestly, they say oh sure consume fuel right is three point four. When you daily, you don't just turn on your sports mode mm. every day, ma. Mm. Of course, when there's empty road, then you just like eh. If you don't turn it on, yeah. fuel consumption is fine. Full tank you hit about almost six hundred km. Okay. Right. And your full tank is like how much? Uh, full tanks about. <laughs> I pump round hundred lah. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I I pump the round hundred. So here here <laughs> comes the not so <laughs> not so edible part of the car. Mm-hmm. Sensitive to feel. Okay. So you you either need to tune it or you stick with the program and pump at least a uh, round ninety eight. That's that's what. Porsche says. Okay. And I did try pumping 95 one time, not because I was like, I try on this car, because uh, I was stuck in Cameron and there was no other option. Okay. So I pumped it and straight away got the engine like. <laughs> <laughs> was that a huge fix though? Uh, no, no, no. To... I went to see the Porsche lover and I asked my friends at Porsche, and after we emptied the tank and then just. Recruit. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So full tank, I would say about 300 ringgit. 300 ringgit, 600 mm-hmm. km. Yeah, but Worth it, man. <laughs> <laughs> what about the space constraint? Because everyone is like, wow, two-seater, cannot do much. I feel like you don't think about it. You just keep thinking like it's two-seater, it's going to feel very tight. But once you're in it, right, mm. how often when you drive your four-seater car, you reach to the back? Correct. Honestly, I've driven this car to Penang, mm. uh, Chinese New Year, drove it to Johor, went to Desaru, I went to Cameron's. Like, I really drove the hell out of this uh, car. Mm. And it was comfortable. I brought my boss also, brought my boss along. The she only like don't mine. like it when I press the sports button or I book up the exhaust. <laughs> But if I drive normally, like a normal human being who mm. don't like to speed or okay. take and attack corners, <laughs> okay, then she's fine. Oh, because I was like, I attack the corner, then I attack the corner, and then she's like, do not <laughs> attack corners anymore. And then she would like she would scream like, police, tangkap budak ni. <laughs> Throughout your entire experience, since you said mm. 2019, right? Yeah. 2021, 22, about the, three the years. Hunt, uh. What would you say the one thing that you absolutely love about the car? One. One thing. Like, top of my mind yeah. is, is the sound okay. <laughs> of the car. I know I used to sit at the mama and people would rev their car. I'd be like, Toot. <laughs> You used to Shut be the up. haters. I, I, but I understand. La. As, a, as a victim and as a... <laughs> Perpetrator, <laughs> pepperoni. It's different when you drive it. The driving experience, really, I I didn't think that I would enjoy a sports car to this extent. Oh, okay. A bit scared of how it looks. Okay. I know that as we grow up, we need to care less about what people think. But driving such a flashy car. Plus, it's red color. <laughs> it's red. It's screaming like I'm doing well in life. <laughs> But internally, I'm breaking down. <laughs> oh my god, the feels. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just being honest, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people who buy the badge to flex, mm-hmm. uh, to buy a nice red sports car to flex. But honestly, I just so numb it was red, right? I want the all black. The hard part about hunting for a Porsche, right, are the options. You know, each of these buttons here cost you a few K. Mm. So, to properly spec like mm. to the spec that you want. So whoever bought this car first hand, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> he spec everything. <laughs> he ticked oh. all the boxes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a fully loaded boxer S la. And clearly he wanted a GTS but he couldn't get it, so he put the kit also. Okay. He even integrated IP exhaust with the Sports Plus button. Oh yeah. that wasn't you. I thought you, you, you did know. <laughs> So it came like this is the perfect find of the year. Yeah, that's why I'm like not willing to let her go, but I've got dreams to chase. Why are you selling the car? 
Yeah, honestly, because I know that you you say that we are, I used to do YouTube and all these things, but mm. when I chase after doing films and stuff, my, the manga is my personal project and I want to launch more. I've got some ready, but I need more money. The cost for making each film is very high, mm -hmm. and because I self-publish, and also I'm gonna open a cafe. <laughs> this is a very enjoyable ride mm. to keep. Mm. Um, for as long as I could, but too bad I don't have that 100 million in the bank account to just do everything that I want in life. Yeah. I think after you chase your dreams, then mm. there will be more opportunities. Mm. Yes. Come. Once you get a sports car, feel like you must always have a sports car kind of feeling. Okay. I'm not saying like you must always have a Porsche or what, but feel like you must always have a fun car. Understand. Yeah, especially I join you all for drives and meet people and just being even alone in the car sometimes. There's there's something special about that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Especially also the comfortable experience. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for putting that in. <laughs> sure. Jump the top. Jump the top. Yeah. You've talked about like the thing you love about the car. What about the one thing that you absolutely hate about the car? Is there anything? You know if you Search for this car, especially the Boxster S981 on YouTube. There is no bad reviews. There is no bad reviews about this car. Even Matt Watson says, <laughs> you should go ahead and buy it. It's hard to find faults with this one. It's like letting the one you found go. This is, this is my Lenny, man. <laughs> Your best experience with the car? It was with the Drop the Top Gang drive, which was very fun. And until today, I think most people don't understand why we wake up at 5 a.m. to go and drive car. <laughs> wake up so early, <laughs> not enough rest, <laughs> yeah. uh, and then waste money and waste time and waste petrol, <laughs> and you pollute the air and pollute the sound. Why? Quite selfish, but we'll and do it again. It. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be. Do you have any bad experiences with the car? <laughs> Besides selling the car. <laughs> More on the because I'm not a car guy and I don't understand car enough. I feel like we should at least know more about the things we drive. Yeah, yeah, and at the same time, don't be so high risk taker, In a sense, where you want to try taking the corners in a certain way and what maybe maybe you should practice somewhere safer first lah rather than we go even though that's what we all do on drives I guess the closest uh, most scary thing is uh, got one, one Genting drive it was uh, wet because after rain and then no, there was a no story starts off well with this <laughs> with rain <laughs> But it, there was nothing like crazy that happened, it's just a very slight skid Okay But that sort of put me in place in terms yeah. of Because I was pushing the car in a sense where like Oh okay, I've taken the, this same corner at this, this speed. speed Yes. Let me try a bit faster, let yeah. me try a bit faster Yeah Yeah, so that kind of like freaked me a bit So I'm like, let's not try anymore <laughs> Let's just take the corners at the speed which I know it can take Yeah Okay. Because if you watch all the reviews for this car, right? Oh, it really sticks, yeah, and then they go to the corner like, Yeah, it really sticks! <laughs> so easy to drive! Um, <laughs> but... It does stick, it does! <laughs> when, when, it's, when it's sunny, it's like, oh... They were not lying with their British accent. <laughs> their British accent doesn't mean they're lying, yeah? Anything you would recommend to people who are wanting to get this type of car or wanting to get the 981 Boxster in particular? Just go ahead and buy it! <laughs> well, I reckon you should just go right ahead and buy the Porsche Boxster. I think getting a Continental, be it a Porsche, a BM, a Mini and whatnot, financially speaking, mm. on a maintenance point of view, while it's not as crazy as we think, it's still more than the usual uh, Japanese cars yeah. or the local cars that we have. 
only get it when you have that sort of side cash to, to spare uh, in case anything happen oh. I, I bring you go tunnel oh okay <laughs> <laughs> remember taking this tunnel the first time with this car and <laughs> I, sh I almost shed myself <laughs> Okay, so one last question before we end the video. <laughs> How do you feel as an individual that hasn't been in a car scene and entered the car scene? <laughs> oh, no. I think I've met very good people mm. along the way, even though it's just been like a year plus. Um, and I think that matters. Lah. Yes. I think no matter what community that we get into, as long as people In every industry, there's not so good people. <laughs> yeah. But this is not me announcing like I will never get a fun car to drive anymore. Oh, uh, I will still come be your passenger. Or of something course. Until my next ride. Of course, of course. Mm. Always welcome. Always yeah. welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I recommend it to everyone. It doesn't matter what car you drive. Actually, uh, it doesn't have True. to be a fancy car. It. As long as it's a car you like driving, yeah, then sure. just go meet people, hang out. Even if they talk about cars and you just feel lost sometimes, it's okay. Just act like you understand. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That G six two five four X one dash straight part. <laughs> thank you so much, Jared. Really, such an honor to have you on my channel and appear on my channel. Thank thanks you so much for everything. Thanks, President. Hey, thank it's you. Been thank an you. Honor yeah, man. To drop the top. If you're a good person, join Drop the Talk. If you're not a nice person, just cover your talk and go <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. drive off to the horizon. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Cut to the cowboy scene riding the sunset horizon. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys, catch you on the next one. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on this video. And share it to your friends. What accent is this? This is not uh, the British accent, I right? I don't know, I just made it up. Okay, great. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.